Okay, uh, Maximilian, I want you to take the west gate. Aquilus, you take the south gate. I'll take the main gate. There's not many people here now, but wait. The census is about to begin. Oh, good afternoon. I'm Cornelius. As you can tell, I'm with the Roman army. My rank is a centurion. Welcome to Bethlehem. You know, this isn't my idea, but Quirinius, governor of Syria, Caesar Augustus, our beloved emperor, has passed a law, a decree, that all the world should be taxed. Well, this taxation is going to happen this weekend in Bethlehem of Judea. People will register here, but there's more. Welcome to Bethlehem. Join me on the journey. As people enter into the journey toward Bethlehem, there's nothing here now but this evening from 6 until 8 and tomorrow from 10 until 2, this area will be filled with hand-carved olive wood carvings all the way from Bethlehem of Judea. We will have people here selling their wares. Be sure you stop before or after your journey here to Bethlehem. But there's more. Follow me. Our puppeteers aren't here now, but tomorrow and tonight, the puppeteers will be here to tell the story of the miraculous birth of Jesus the Christ in Bethlehem of Judea. Be sure to come and sit and listen and enjoy as our puppeteers tell the wondrous biblical story. But there's more. We are approaching the city gate of Bethlehem. In just a few short steps, we'll enter the city proper. You will hear the sights. You will smell the smells. You will hear the sounds of Bethlehem, excited for the birth of our Savior. Come, let us go into the city. We enter into the city of Bethlehem of Judea. Now when you enter the city of Bethlehem, you will be given coins. With these coins, you can purchase different articles and you can see certain sites. Here in our first stop, the woolen shop, you'll put one coin into the basket and you will get a wall, ball of yarn for a project that will come later on, our woolen shop. All handmade items and you'll receive, once again, this beautiful prayer shawl, pocket prayer shawl as a remembrance of your visit to Bethlehem. But there's more. On a journey, everybody gets hungry. Here, of course, would be our next stop, the bakery. For one coin in our bakery shop, you'll be given a wonderful piece of bakery to eat and enjoy as you gain strength for your continued journey in Bethlehem. Beautiful, tasty, delicious, our bakery. But there's more. As we journey through Bethlehem, past the woolen shop, you'll stop here at the Circus Publicus. That's a fancy name for public post office. And here at this post office, you'll have an opportunity to choose a postcard of your choosing. This one is particularly near and dear to Cornelius, bears a resemblance of a quite handsome centurion. On the back of this postcard, you'll have an opportunity to address it to family and friends and relatives commemorating your journey here to Bethlehem. Fill that out, put it in our basket. The public post office will mail that to your family at no charge. Our post office. Our next stop will be our toy shop. 
This is a favorite place of young and old alike. Here at our toy shop, young and old will have an opportunity to play with some handmade toys and purchase toys if they like. At this toy shop, you'll be able to purchase for one coin this nifty spinning top. And if you so desire, there's colored pencils and markers available so you can personalize this spinning top and keep it as a wonderful keepsake of your visit to Bethlehem. One coin. But there's more. Walking in, no doubt you'll hear the sounds of Bethlehem and you'll also smell the smells of the city. Here in our spice shop, you'll have the opportunity to smell dried mint, whole cloves, ground cinnamon, whole cumin, ground cumin. It is a sight and a smell to behold. But for one coin, you'll be able to purchase a little bag of these mulling spices that you can add to your tea or to your apple cider. Take it from Cornelius. Delicious. One coin here at our spice shop. But there's more. By now, you might be running out of coins. Here at our laundry, you have the opportunity to be put to work. And as you do laundry and hang up laundry that has been washed, you will earn coins so that you can spend them along your way. Spend freely, but you may have to work for more coins. Our laundry shop. Adjacent to our laundry shop is our beautiful carpentry shop. Now, earlier in our woolen shop, you received a little hand rolled ball of yarn. Here at our carpentry shop, for one coin again, you'll be able to take that ball of yarn and custom wind your wooden star. And hopefully at the end of your accomplishments, that star will look something like this to hang on your tree, to adorn your home. Again, a wonderful remembrance of your visit to Bethlehem of Judea. But there's even more. Follow me. In our center of our little village, they're not here now, but this pen will be filled with live goats for you to feed and to pet. Again, some of the sights and some of the sounds of the real city of Bethlehem. Live goats will be here for your enjoyment. Now, Bethlehem, of course, is noted for the birthplace of our Lord and Savior. We know the story how he came with Mary, his betrothed wife. While she was there, she came forth to deliver. They came to an inn, and there was no room in the inn, so the innkeeper found it in his heart to open up his stable. And here, in this facsimile of a stable, Mary and Joseph welcomed their firstborn, a son. And here they named him Jesus, because he was born to save all of us from our sins. The birthplace of our Lord and Savior, a lonely manger in a stall. As you are about to leave Bethlehem's journey, you'll have an opportunity at this beautiful scenic spot to have your picture taken, again, as a remembrance of your visit to this special city of Bethlehem. Again, along your journey, you may thirst, and as you thirst, again, for one coin, you'll have an opportunity to get a nice bottle of water. You can refresh yourself taking in all of the sights and all of the sounds of this wondrous city of our Lord and Savior's birth. But there's even more. As you get ready to exit the city of Bethlehem, and by the way, we're to have you in no hurry. You spend as much time as you like in the shops, visiting with people, petting our ghosts. But as you do leave the city of Bethlehem, stop here. If you have any special prayer requests for a loved one, there's a piece of paper here and pen and pencil. You simply write your prayer request down, put it in the basket, and some of our leaders and our pastors will certainly go to our Heavenly Father with your special prayer requests. Something new this year, prayer requests for our loved ones. And now as you exit on your way back home, we walk down the remembrance area of our Lord and Savior, born in Bethlehem of Judea in that simple manger. 
talking about some of the many things he did in life. He taught his followers and his disciples as he grew into manhood. Not only did he teach, but he healed many of their diseases, forgiving their sins. And not only did he teach and heal, he performed many miracles like the one shown on this piece of paper. This painting depicts Jesus calming the storm on the Sea of Galilee. But not only is Jesus noted for all of those wonderful things, especially is he noted for the fact that on that first Good Friday, on the cross on Golgotha, and I, Cornelius, was there with my crucifixion detail, saw our Lord and Savior nailed between two thieves. And there Jesus suffered, and he bled, and he died for your sins and for my sins on the tree of the cross. But that's not the whole story. As that third morn came to pass, and the women went to the tomb to embalm the dead body of their Savior, they got there and the angel said, Why do you seek the living amongst the dead? He's not here. He's risen. Just as he said, the empty tomb gives evidence to the fact that because Jesus rose from the dead and went to heaven, we too shall not have to fear death. He's gone there to prepare a place so that where he is, we may also be. Well, thank you for visiting our journey to Bethlehem. Please feel free to join us tonight, Friday, from 6 until 8 p.m. here at Christ Lutheran Church, and then tomorrow morning from 10 until 2 as we journey to Bethlehem together. One more thing, though, as we get ready to leave, don't forget to enter back into our fellowship hall right off of the census table and to purchase some handmade carved olive wood art. You won't be sorry. It'll be a memory that will last you for years and years to come. Thank you for allowing me, Cornelius, to be your guide. I look forward to seeing you tonight and taking your money. God's blessings. Bye-bye. one of these beautiful woolen tops. These wooden tops spin, and they spin, and they fall on the floor, okay? And at this woolen, at this shop, I just, I just ripped my thing. Cut! Do not bend down in a tunic. <laughs>